of us are arjuns caught in their own flesh in their blood in their tears in their emotions in their past and being caught we forget what our dharma is as long as arjun lives within us we will continue to need krishna therefore bhagavad gita is immortal Madhvacharya proclaimed the uh, Advaita philosophy, and Madhvacharya proclaimed the word Advaita philosophy. So we cannot say that uh, he was correct and he was uh, he didn't say what the other uh, the sense that was on. That was their truth. These two are extremely opposite. So which is the exact truth? You think? One may put it in words of his personal choice and it is all right finally one must surrender to a reality beyond mind it doesn't matter whether you talk of advait or dwait do you finally admit that you cannot proceed any further with words if you are advait says that i have come to the final truth your advait is bogus if your advait says that this is the ultimate expression then your advait too is a fallacy you may say advait you may say advait you may even say trait or you may say anything of your choice you are free to say whatever you want to but all of that must surrender all of that must finally say beyond this we cannot say any more that is the only mark of the right exposition does or does it not finally say that we come to this point and humbly we want to admit that we cannot proceed any further because truth is at that point where you say <coughs> that i cannot say any further so the philosopher is free to philosophize <coughs> he can write a page a book consisting of 5000 pages i'll be interested only in the last sentence what is he saying finally finally is he saying that i have spelt out the truth or is he saying i cannot say any further are you getting this hmm the truth is where the book stops the truth is where the philosophy ends what is he saying finally i do not bother so much about the entire content of their philosophy i would be concerned only whether they are surrendered hmm it is not at all a mistake to say a lot of things about the truth the truth is beautiful it attracts you feel like saying a lot of things about the truth so you are all right you have all the rights to write poems about the truth but the moment you say this is the truth that is where you are no more tolerable hmm so what is shankar or madhavacharya saying as long as say as long as they say well we said a few things about the truth it is all right but let nobody say that this is the truth when it comes to the truth they must just go their heads down and say that we cannot say anything further now saying anything more will be heresy that is the mark of truth 
for me to say that that is their truth and we have to find our truth. That is their way of describing their personal perception of truth. Truth lies not in what you are saying about the truth. Truth lies in your silence. When the philosopher ultimately falls silence, falls silent, and words desert him, then there is truth. Till the time the philosopher is rambling and going on and on with his intellectual stuff, he might be close, but he is still not there. He is there when he is overwhelmed with a gripping silence. Now he is there. Everybody can say what is the fundamental, but he is not able to talk about the fundamental. You can only talk about the fundamental. Mm-hmm. You can only talk about the fundamental. You know what aboutness means? What is aboutness? So, nearby. 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 The periphery. So, talking about the truth is alright. You can. Rather than talking about this and that, if you feel like talking the truth in your own personal terms, you are welcome. But never be arrogant enough to say that this is the truth. Hmm? All scriptures uh, should end with, this is the tip of the eye. They do, they do, they do. Not only do they end there, they keep on repeating this even in their bodies. Hmm? In fact, those are the only worthy scriptures that do not pretend that they have described the truth. Hmm? 